What's good guys, I'm Dr. P and today I've got some more information regarding Season 5 and some updates we have for the new portals and new items that are going to get teleported into the game. If you could do me a favor and drop a like on the video, let's shoot for 2500, that would be insane guys, thank you so so much. If this is your first time watching, welcome, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to stay updated every time something happens as soon as it does. I try to be very fast with my uploads and try to cover everything in depth and go really and far into the analysis, so hopefully you enjoy and let's get into it. Alright, so let's start with the new portal that just formed in Moisty Mire. Yes, there is another portal that formed there and it looks like there will be a third. We'll get into it in just a second. But as you can see in the coordinates I-9, there is actually a brand new rift and the thing about this one is it's pretty big. I don't know about you guys, but just for the first, you know, day, first hour of it forming, it's way bigger than the other portals have ever been. Maybe not quite as vibrant as some of them or quite as flashy as some of them, but just for the first day of it being formed, it is huge. As I said earlier, the coordinates for this exact rift are I-9, and the next rift will be at H-9. That is courtesy of at FNBR Leaks on Twitter. Very, very credible source. And taking a look at our list here, that's been very, very accurate up to this point. The two items that we're missing are the fossil at the top left and the sign in the middle. Now, those two items, one of those two items is going to most likely appear out of the rift that I'm showing you in the gameplay. Moisty Meyer has been a hot topic of conversation throughout season five and there are now two rifts there it looks like there are going to be three rifts these are going to be very close to each other and moisty is going to have three rifts now apparently something is going to happen to moisty by the end of the season there are only three days left so if that's going to happen it's going to happen kind of quick the only other portals to be close to each other are the dirt burger and the one that spit out the anchor on the mountain just northwest of greasy make sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video if you want to stay updated i'm going to keep you guys informed as fast as i can if anything get spit out or anything gets sucked up or any new portal forms or we get anything at all you can count on me that's a promise also in the news, there have been Fortnite llamas spotted in real life all across Europe. There have been different llamas found in London, Barcelona, Cologne, and Warsaw. The respective countries, of course, being England, Spain, Germany, and Poland. Now, this is not the first time we have seen an in real life prop put there. We're assuming by Epic Games. Just earlier this week, there was a Der Burger spotted out in the middle of a California desert. The important thing to bear in mind about the llamas in Europe is that that there are multiple of them scattered across the region. If you connect the dots to the cities in Europe where these are located, and then take a look sort of in the middle of the shape, we are looking squarely at France, okay? So could there be a in real life challenge search between England, Spain, and Germany? Could that be true? That's a very highly speculated topic on Twitter right now. Everyone is thinking this could be the case because there are multiple llamas and the search between a treasure map and search between locations is a very popular theme for challenges within Fortnite Battle Royale. If X does mark the spot, then what could be waiting for us in the middle of the shape? Could there be anything else missing that was teleported away from the world of Fortnite? Maybe even the tomato head? If the Dur Burger was found, then there's very good likelihood that the tomato head could eventually be uncovered somewhere on the Earth. It's crazy how Fortnite is literally doing a worldwide Easter egg. An international prop chase, guys. This is some crazy stuff. Unlike the Dur Burger, these llamas were actually placed in very public areas like in street corners, in telephone booths. So this this is definitely something that is a lot more public than the Der Burger. If you happen to live in Europe, in any one of the cities that these llamas were placed, be sure to let me know. I'm very curious to see how many viewers I have that live nearby and have actually seen it. Earlier today, Fortnite actually put out this teaser on Twitter. I made a whole dedicated video talking about this and what it might mean. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you check it out. But anyway, you can see it says three days until season five. This is very similar to what they did over when season three was almost done. And basically, if you remember then, they were teasing season four with a couple teasers every day until it actually came out. We can almost certainly expect to see another teaser tomorrow tomorrow and one the following day until season 5 actually drops on July 12th. If Fortnite's trend continues, then I would dare say it's probably going to be near impossible to get an exact pinpoint on what the season is going to be because even when we thought we knew everything for season 4 during season 3, 
they threw a couple curveballs at us. So while we can definitely confirm, almost certainly confirm, that the season for season five is going to have time travel very heavily involved and probably ancient past figures coming back, like maybe Egyptians or Wild Wild West people or Romans or whatever, who knows, maybe history themed. It probably goes a lot deeper than that and there are almost certainly things that we have not even seen or heard of yet that are going to be very big parts of the upcoming season. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments Section down below. I always love to hear your guys' feedback and interact with my fans, so definitely let me know if you guys have any theories or any ideas, and also hit me up on Twitter, at Dr. Pineapples. I am always very interactive over there and talking to fans, and I love it. It's just like my YouTube username, Dr. Pineapples, just no space. Very, very easy to find me over there. With that said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in another one very soon, and until then, take it easy, and peace out.